Welcome to Cooking with Jimmy. We have our chili sauce, ketchup, relish, secret sauce, lemon, garlic, and herb. Here's the shrimp, mango, and tomato. So we're gonna go ahead and be making our world famous shrimp cocktail. All right, here I'm gonna show you how to properly de-vein shrimp. So you're gonna pull the tail off. All right. Next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and peel the back and take off the rest of the remaining shell. Slice it straight down the middle. All right, then you can go ahead and de-vein it. It comes out pretty simple after you do that. So you just pull that bad boy right on out of there. All right. Go ahead and put it in the completed bowl with the other shrimp. And you do this process about 15 more times. All right, don't forget to be washing your hands. Here we go with the mango. So with the mango, we're just gonna go ahead and cut it into slices. So you wanna avoid the heart of the mango, which is the seed. We're going to be using this mango in the plating and presentation for the garnish. So these colors pop really nicely. All right, there you go. That's how they should look. You can always eat the, the heart of the mango if you want to later. All right, here we go. Get your tomato, pull off the stem, and you're going to quarter it. The only reason you need to quarter it is because you're going to throw it into a blender. It doesn't have to look nice. All right, here we go. Looks really good. Here's all our ingredients that we're going to be using. Like I said before, we'll spin them around and get a good look at all the things you'll be utilizing. So now we're going to go ahead and put everything in and throw in our tomatoes. You got your chili sauce. And ketchup. Relish. a little bit of my secret sauce and don't forget if you want to know my secret sauce make sure you subscribe and leave a comment in the list of comments below cooking with Jimmy and here you go you're gonna add your lemon the lemon is a critical part you want to have that tang without it it's not the same for your cocktail sauce all right make sure you're washing your hands frequently washing your cutting boards as you're doing this process because cleanliness is the best way to cook and clean as you go. Alright, turn that bad boy up. So this is a very high speed blender. So you're going to put it about to a four. So that's about medium. Alright, only blend. This is critical. Only blend for about 15 to 20 seconds. Because you don't want to make it into your puree, right? Okay. That's a good consistency already. You can see it. Alright, put that aside for later. So far, so good. All right. Hope everybody's following along with me. There goes our shrimp. We're going to be using that in a second here. And those are all de-veined. All right. So make sure you're bringing your water to a boil prior to dumping your shrimp in there. But go ahead and put the shrimp in. So this is another critical point. Only and quote me on this, only cook for three to five minutes because if you overcook, it will turn rubbery and it will not be tasting good at all and your friends will not come back for dinner next time. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, so now we're ready. We're gonna go ahead and dump out the water and I'm gonna show you how the shrimp looks in just a second here. There you go. 
All right. Now we're in plating and presentation. First thing we're going to do is put our cocktail sauce in our glass. All right, that's about right. Maybe a little bit more. We we'll kind of want to top it off. There you go. All right. So I call this right here creating the ring of fire. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So you can call it whatever you want. Basically, this is for presentation. Why some people all they do is they dump their shrimp into the cocktail sauce, or they just dip it in without even making it look good. But remember, I keep on preaching this: people eat with their eyes. We're visual eaters, and if it looks good and tastes good, guess what? It's gonna taste tremendous. So something like this you get at a restaurant run you about fifteen, twenty dollars. And right here, I'm teaching you how to make it from scratch. All right. There's a little ring. Remember those mangoes we had earlier? We cut into slices. Now we're just gonna run right through them into strips. And we're gonna put them into sections. You'll see that in a second. I'm already getting hungry, guys. All right, here we go. So put them on all four corners. Should be about equal length, each one of them. And have fun, you can do your own creations. You don't have to go verbatim from what I'm doing. But this is gonna give you the basis. All right, and there goes your fourth. So visually, this is already looking pretty good, but there's a couple more steps you need to add. There you go, maybe a little lemon twist or whatever your heart desires. Boom, there it is, all right. And now, for the parsley. Throw that on top. Nice little visual right there. And there you have it. Homemade shrimp cocktail. Voila.